Hi and welcome back to another um, episode in this series looking at um, turning the Batman Thomas and Friends uh, Renaissance model into Dolgok. Um, if you remember last time uh, we were looking at the back head um, of the boiler um, and I added some details like the firebox door, sight glass, regulator, a little shelf. Um, and after a bit of paint we spotted that um, I needed to file these back. So I've done that. Um, and it needs repriming but as part of that i realized looking at this photo again in the book that while the back head looks good there are these two parts which are clearly uh missing um, and they're quite again they're quite sizable uh, and something that you might see um through the door of the cab um so i've done a bit more detailing and i've added these so again it's a bit difficult to see but i've added essentially two um bits of styrene rod up the inside of the cab now they're definitely slightly oversized they don't thin down at the bottom like they do on the photo um but i'm hoping that if i paint them black and then fill this bit in i assume brass um it will make the black bit look thinner um and to accommodate that i've i've cut a couple of holes in the top here um again once you're looking into the cab you can't see them but they just allow the, the rod to disappear rather than trying to shape the rod to fit the top of the <coughs> the top of the uh, the back head of the boiler. So um that fits just um it's all a bit kind of stretched. Um you can just about kind of see it underneath. They they fit through those gaps just. Um and again when you look through the, the opening you can see the the rods. Um so yeah. That was the that was one thing. Um, again, not huge progress with that, but you know, it's 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 little details that when they catch your eye, uh, will be helpful. I've also gone back and cleaned up the outside of this cab as much as I could, um, get off a lot of the super glue that I'd managed to stick everywhere. Um, I've attempted to fill this little slot that was left in the front that was intended originally for the extra coal bunker uh, that I'm not fitting, so I've kind of. Filled it with some putty and filed it back. Um, I think it might still be slightly recessed looking at it under the light, but um, I think once it's painted and stuff, it's probably going to disappear. But we'll have a look again once we get some primer on this part. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look. Um, <clears throat> um, and if you remember, <clears throat> to get this cab to fit, I had to mill off the coal load. Um, but I went probably a little bit too far and um, needed to plate over this area. So I've now done that. I've just basically took a piece of brush sheet cut and filed it to, to shape um, and it now fits um, where it needs to fit if I can get the camera to focus on it yeah mum there we go uh, and it fits underneath um, and it hides all that unsightly slightly marks and things and again um, once that's once that's f painted and stuff it should all nicely blend in as it did on uh, the Talilin uh, loco um, so again tiny bits of progress um, but they all take time <clears throat> uh, and then the last thing I've done um, as I say it's been a, it's been a, an odd week for work and family so I've not achieved a huge amount but the other thing I've done is I've fitted the smoke box door now this is the one piece of the detailing kit that I was actually responsible for designing so it's a etched piece with two holes in that fits round the smoke over the smoke box opening uh, and then the printed uh, part fits through that and into the into the model and you can see on the inside the pins come out inside the inside the casting um, and that holds everything nice and tight and um, fixes the issue with the fact that um, the original Reneus face meant that it, it had a recessed area around the front on the front of the smoke box and obviously we needed that to be uh, flush um, but without adding particularly any extra length to the smoke box that's why it's a uh, kind of ha half etched piece uh, with the rivet detail on and I think that works out quite nicely I haven't added the door handle yet because um, I want to I don't want it sticking out while I'm trying to work out all the pipe runs and stuff uh, but again you know it only took a couple of seconds to fit but I think it's a it's a nice detail and it's starting to come starting to come together together so we can again we can kind of just gently slot all these pieces <coughs> together now and we should see that we're starting to we're starting to get a loco that's looking uh, a lot more like 
uh, Dolgok than Reneus. I think. In fact, if we look at the front of this book, there's a picture of uh, Dolgok on the front, um, and I think that's starting to look starting to look pretty good. Um, obviously, there's still still lots of detailing to do. Um, as I say, you can see all those those pipe runs that need dealing with. Um, there's some extra pieces on the front. I'm not quite sure what they are. I assume they're lubricators of some kind. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's uh, it's coming on nicely. To say I haven't had a, much time uh, since the last video. It's, it's a few little pieces that I've managed to do uh, in a couple of minutes here and there um, have all kind of brought on the detailing uh, nicely, and I think they'll all, all tie the whole thing um, together. Um, one thing that did come up in conversation um, on a forum where I also post was whether I could essentially mill out the bottom of this casting so this piece here um, which would leave um, kind of light under the boiler um, the answer is probably um, I've had a look and you can kind of see how this how this fits on here uh, I've got that the right, yes I've got that the right around so um, you can kind of see how the body fits on here and if I if you look about how much casting there is there if I lift this up I could probably see underneath the motor. You can see my finger through the other side when I do that. Um, but I'd have to deal with all the brightly coloured wires. Um, I'd, again, it's, you know, I think if I paint it with that really matte black paint, it's not going to be really obvious. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it. Um, it's a nice idea, and I'm sure somebody will go ahead and, and, and do it. Um, but I think... Um, I think it's just, yeah, one step too far. Um, I say, I mean, you saw with the the Talilin model I built by destroying um, Skyloya that I don't mind cutting these things up. Um, but I think um, I'd have more problems uh, than it solves. I think with the black paint, it's not going to be obvious. And if I if I did cut through, then I'd have to, as I say, hide these blue and red wires. And I think, and, and probably paint the bottom of the motor and. I just it's just not worth it I don't think um, so I'm gonna leave that as it is um, but yeah all seems to be um, coming together coming together nicely now I think um, so uh, probably prime the cab that's probably about ready to be primed now um, as is the foot plate again um, and I, as I say I still need to do the pipe runs on the on the on the body casting but again it's all kind of um, coming along nicely I think now so um, shouldn't be shouldn't be too long before we start um, getting some more more paint and details on uh, but for this week uh, that's it